Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your continued support. It truly means the world. Uh, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Let's see what the week has in store for you Aries and just as a side note, a little bit of business, I currently have £20 off all of my 12 months in focus and uh, astro mandala readings and you've just had several pop out. So let's see what are you releasing removing or letting go of from your lifescape this week and this week you get you get the five of swords this is good and um, i actually think last week you got the five, the four of swords which is really interesting so you came into the um the new year kind of getting rid of all of that energy of uh, of rest of recuperation of needing to rest and recuperate and now this week you're letting go of the five of swords so not only is that forward momentum and forward progression it also kind of tells me that in terms of the five of uh, five of swords what you're letting go of is this many people talking at once i kind of feel like this whole doing things by committee or allowing other people you know whether it's the the workplace whether it's the colleagues whether it's family it's kind of like you're taking back your decisions this week you're saying to yourself right I'm going to make decisions based on what I want based on what I need and how I proceed from here on in that is what's going to be important that's what's going to be at the forefront um, and it's not so much that you're not listening to other people it's more just a case of the decisions that you're making are your own with the five of swords is what you're letting go of you're letting get go of difficult and strife uh, difficult communication and strife you're letting go of um, too many people talking at once and ultimately letting people manipulate you in in certain ways um, you know especially when it comes to your communication uh, but ultimately what I really feel from this is it's like you're not doing things by committee anymore um, that's kind of like you know you'll take on people's advice and listen to people's viewpoints but ultimately the decision must be yours and in true uh, stellar fashion like your um, you know like your your ruler Aries it's about doing what you feel is right, about what you feel passionate about and following that passion to its highest and best for you, right? So um, that's great. I, I really like that for you. So what are you working on this week? What's at the heart of the matter? Let's take a look. And this week you've got the hanged man. Interesting. So, you know, we let go last week of the four of, the four of swords, right? That whole sort of stepping back energy. This week you're letting go of... Um, the you know of too many people talking at once but also you're letting go of doing things by committee ultimately the decisions that you make are based on uh, what you want on what you need on what your desires are what you're working on now with the hanged man then is really sitting with that feeling trusting your intuition getting into the in touch with the deepest parts of yourself to allow your intuition to really speak through and sometimes the best way to do that is to steal yourself is to quiet yourself is to take a moment to bring yourself down to bring yourself into alignment with yourself um, you know the hanged man is a very spiritual card it's a card of enlightenment and the fact that this is what you're working on now it's kind of like by silencing the too many voices or the voices of everyone else you allow your own inner voice to come forward to step forward and say right this is how we're going to proceed this is what we're going to do now this is what is relevant this is the next step in our personal journey or evolution uh, you're trusting yourself more than ever Aries and I really really like that so uh, let's take a look what are you welcoming in what is the energy that is trying to break into your life at this moment in time and you've got the strength card inner strength total self-confidence utter and um, utter and total strength this is about having the courage to go for what it is that you want and when you really get into that space of trusting your own intuition and trusting yourself and uh, you know 
by following that internal wisdom towards your own enlightenment, you can allow strength to come through. That is the highest form of strength, right? Walking and forging your own path, no matter what anybody else says to you is right or should be done or shouldn't be done. This is about walking yourself, walking your own path and having the courage and the strength to do so. This is a really powerful and dynamic week for you guys. Um, and I really like this. This is a good mix here. Um, and it gives you, as far as I, I feel, it gives you all of the energy that you need in order to make the right steps forward from here on in. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know how this plays out for you in the comments. Take care and I'll see you very soon for more videos.